Hello. How are we doing today? Can you hear me okay? Can you see me okay? Hello, hi, hi. Hi everyone. So we're doing a really cool exercise today on manifesting your dream life. So I would like you to write down some of the things that you would like to create. What would you like to know about how to manifest, how to create? And I'm seeing some awesome um, feedback from the challenge. So you're welcome to also write down things that you are experiencing, your ahas, your takeaways, your big wins, your challenges, whatever it is that's coming up for you. Okay, I'm seeing some um, things that people would like to create in terms of work, healing centers, Clients, a course, a coaching course for clients. Cool. Awesome. All right. Okay. So if you have any questions, pop them into the chat because we're talking today about how to actually create and how to receive in physical actualization in physical form the things we talk about manifesting and what manifesting really is and we're doing a body whispering exercise to help bring your energetic concepts and ideas into reality okay to help that process along so first of all what i'd like you to do is actually just allow yourself to tap into this energy of what is possible for your life versus maybe what you have believed is possible or limited for your life. I love this. So um, Shalu is saying that in the Hindi group, there's also someone who wants to open a healing center. So we have a lot of people with like a common goal or a common thing that they would like to receive. Okay. happy income stream. Okay, so today is a little bit different and the information you receive today might be different to what you have heard about or understood when it comes to manifesting. Manifesting has many connotations. To manifest, to be able to manifest is actually to bring something into um, into form okay and one of the things that people sometimes think about when it comes to manifesting is that it's either all energetic or it's all mindset so meaning it's all like asking and receiving asking and receiving asking and receiving which yes it includes but other people it's all about the mindset like affirmations journaling visualizations how do i train my mind to create and see in reality what i would like to create that is also part of it acting in faith is part of it belief is part of it one of the main concepts about manifesting that creates manifesting happening quickly or you seeing results is the congruence in mind, body and energy. And then secondly, it is actually having the ability to follow the energy and do the action steps that will create 
what you would like. So for example, for all of you that would like to create a healing center, imagine if you got really congruent with it, you did all of the mindset work, you did all of the visualization, you did all of the healing, you did all of the energy clearing and alignment work, and then you never went out and looked for a space to open your healing center. You never advertised that you had a healing center. You never looked for clients or made it possible for people to book in with you. So it is the alignment of mind, body, and energy that creates successful manifestation. And what body whispering energy does is it hastens the process because it creates connection with yourself and congruence with yourself, which means it creates greater congruence with your asks. And it allows you to follow the whispers to what action steps would create that manifestation faster. And this applies to anything. And oh my gosh, if I could tell you guys, <clears throat> if I could tell you guys how quickly things manifest now in my life, if I could tell you how quickly I think of it and within 24, 48 hours, it's here, it's done. I talk to the right person, I hear the right information, I follow the whispers. It is just mind blowing. And what I love about it is it creates a very efficient life, meaning you save time and you save energy. And I don't spend a lot of energy chasing things that do not come to fruition. All right. So I would like you to take a moment to think about what it is that you would wish to manifest. And it could be anything. Some of you are saying healing centers, so it might be business related. But others of you, it might be relationship based. For others of you, it might be money or income based. For others of you, it might be a physical um, experience. Like you want to go travel, you want to go on a holiday, you want to experience something. Whatever it is, think about it, become aware of it. And what I would like you to do now is take a moment to get very present in your body, to get still in your mind, to get aligned with the energy and allow yourself to have a moment to just channel through that energy and see how that feels at all three levels of mind, body and energy. Here's a part of manifestation that I think people ignore, which is they don't actually give the process or they don't give the whole congruence piece enough reverence. If you say you really want something, there is an investment from you that goes into creating it. It doesn't mean it's hard and it's linear and it's forced, but there is like an investment of you going, okay, like, do I really want this? And if I want this, how would my life be? And what would it create? And what do I need to do? Whereas I have seen people for years talk about wanting to manifest the same thing for years and years and years, but it's kind of like they say they want this thing and they say they really, really want it, but they put it outside of themselves. And it's almost like it's someone else's job. It's the universe's job. It's God's job to actually deliver it to you. And, and they kind of brush it off by thinking, oh, I'm doing meditations. I'm doing, um, you know, clearings. I'm, I'm journaling or I'm visualizing it, but they don't do it consistently and they don't do it with real reverence to the power that they have to create their lives. So that belief is still outside of them. You're still putting the power and giving the power to create your manifestation to something outside of you. 
rather than working with the universe. You're making it the universe's job to give it to you. Okay. So as you have sat and you have become congruent, present, I want you to completely relax, to feel completely safe, and to completely receive in this moment what it would be like for you to receive your ask. I want you to invest your time and energy receiving at a physical level, so the sensations in your body, the thoughts you would think and the ex emotions you would experience in your mind and energy. And lastly, what are the things that would actually be different? Like, if you want to open a healing center, how would you be different if you actually already had the healing center? How would you walk through the world? If you want to manifest a million dollars, how are you actually going to be when you're a millionaire? If you want to have 100 clients or 2,000 clients, how is your life going to be different? How is your business setup going to be different to handle those clients? If 20 clients called you next week, would you be able to handle it or would you feel overwhelmed? Do you have the systems? Do you have the preparation? Do you have the belief that actually you can do it and you're prepared to receive that which you say you are asking for? So again, now with that cognitive information, again, I want you to go deeper into that receiving of your manifestation, the thing you would like to receive, the thing you would like to create, how would it be in your life? How would you be thinking? How would you be acting? What would you be feeling? And I want you to now start bringing that energy closer and closer and closer into your physical space so that there is no separation. You're not thinking about it as something that hasn't happened yet, or you're not imagining it. I want you to actually picture you and that energy of that occurrence meeting and becoming one. So now you are in the manifestation you are in the creation you are in your healing center you are in your million dollar business you are in that space of receiving more income you've already received it you're already in the relationship you want you're already experiencing more joy you're already in the class in dubai whatever it is that you said you wanted to receive you already have it And now I'm going to ask the body whispering energy to guide you and show you what it is you need to do, where it is you need to go, who it is you need to speak to. What are the whispers that you need to follow to start experiencing this in the physical plane? You might see a vision, you might hear a sound, you might see, um, you might perceive an energy, you might have something pop into your mind, you might remember someone that you should call, you might suddenly feel like going to a certain place or looking something up on Google. Ask to receive the information from the whispers as to what will bring that manifestation into your immediate zone of creation.
And now again, as you are asking for those whispers, I want you to again feel very present in your body and very clear in your energy. Start to create that congruence with what it is you wish to experience or receive. Following the whispers also means knowing what is following the whisper and what isn't. It's following the information and not settling for less. When you're presented with something and it's not the thing you quite expected, it's not 100%, it's only 50%. Do you settle for that? Or are you willing to say, ah, oh, this is closer, but actually, no, this is not quite aligned still. That congruence is not there. Are you willing to be so focused on knowing exactly what it is you want? I have so many examples I could give you from little things about finding, like knowing the perfect thing that I want when I go out shopping and finding it and saying no to the other things that were 50% close, 70% close, even 80% close because most people would settle, but actually waiting until you see that thing that you go, oh my gosh, that is exactly what I knew existed. I just hadn't seen it yet and I didn't know where, but here it is. And doing that with everything, not settling for someone that meets half of your asks in a relationship, where you only receive half of those things that you desire in a partnership in your life. Only settling for the first offer you receive for a job or for income because you don't actually trust or believe that the greater is possible and that you can receive it. And this, again, remember I said to you guys, this every day works in with the other days of the challenge. You put this together with day one, the worthiness piece. Trusting that it exists here in this challenge, today's challenge, and believing you're worthy of receiving it from day one, putting those two exercises together, so you start to see your dream life being created. So, to start to finish off today's exercise, I want you to spend a few more moments really believing and seeing what it is like to live your life in your body when the 100% version, the most aligned and congruent version of what you wish to receive, what you wish to experience, what you know is possible for you, even though you may have never seen it yet what your life is going to be and how to get there in the quickest way possible. Become very present to that energy and to that possibility and start interacting with that energy until it becomes so familiar to you. It's just the next step for you to actually experience it here in the physical. This is why we are told to do things like sit in meditation, to journal, to visualize, because it is required for you to experience the stillness and the alignment with what it is you wish to create, rather than letting the noise from all over the world dictate to you what's possible. 
this is not an easy exercise. Sarah's just saying she found it challenging today. Manifestation is no walk in the park. That's why a lot of people struggle with it. It's why people say it's not working for them. It's why people struggle with the concept of it. It's been really dumbed down in this, you know, kind of people make it about the surface level. Manifesting is the art of creating your life and living your life. But just like anything else, the, the greater you want to receive the return on investment, the more you need to invest into creating it and cultivating the skills and the trust in that process. People are trying to manifest Ferraris and they're not even, you know, driving a scooter yet. <sighs> All right. And that's meant to help you feel better about the fact that it was challenging or maybe you hadn't been given giving as much reverence to creating your life and to how to manifest or bring things closer to you because you had just been thinking that it's, you know, you just read a book on it or you do a bit of visualization or you say you'd like to have it or you do one clearing exercise on it or one session on it. It is a practice that you need to cultivate and become a master at. And that's how you quantum leap, or that's how you shorten the time between the thought or the energy and the creation of your manifestation in the physical plane. It's how we really bring that time down to a very short time. <sighs> okay, so that was today's exercise on manifestation manifesting your dream life you can apply this to any single thing you want to do the main concept here is to spend that time getting really present with it getting congruent with it and then investing every aspect of mind body and energy into making that a reality rather than having the reality dictated to you what I love about body whispering, where body whispering comes into this, I haven't used the word manifesting a lot because, again, people have different concepts about what it is. But body whispering makes the process of manifestation much faster, quicker and easier because of the connection that it creates with you and the connection it creates with you being able to follow here and act upon intuitive information that makes it feel like, wow, I had just received this awareness and here I am experiencing it. Wow, I felt this whisper and wow, it's already in front of me. That's how body whispering works in with this concept of manifestation. So I would love you guys to play with this. Again, we're gonna be really experiencing this and playing with this in person at the upcoming two-day body whispering class on the 10th and 11th of October. I would love for you to join us, whether you are online anywhere in the world or in person with us in Dubai at the Ajahn Rotana Hotel. So I will post the information about the class. I have a couple more prizes that I will give away from today's exercise. I have a whole lot of meditations and body whispering exercises to give away. And if you do have questions, comments or queries, please post them here into the comments or into the Facebook group and I will get back to you. Thank you so much, guys. You have been amazing and enjoy today.